Hi, welcome to module six about deontological ethics. I would say that in any ethics class, there would be a couple topics that every course, you know, you could maybe flip out some of the topics, uh, but virtue eth I'm not, I'm sorry, utilitarianism and deontological ethics are the two topics that you really can't skip. Those are so dominant in moral philosophy that you just can't really avoid talking about them. They are very different in their approach, and we get a bit into that with how making and allowing become distinctions of some merit in this uh, and how each of them approach it. But the basic idea is that, you know, utilitarianism is very much based on what are the consequences, what's the outcome. And Kant says, look, we need to quit worrying about what the consequences are. We just need to look at universalizable. If everybody did this action, what would be right? What would be wrong? There's something implicitly right or wrong about certain things. There's something implicitly wrong about stealing and lying and killing and other things. And we simply should adhere to these as if they are our duties or the things that we should do. And so there's a lot of more baggage that goes with that. You'll get in the lesson. Uh, but essentially for Kant, you know, you're not responsible for what you don't do. You're responsible for what you do. And it is your duty to do the right thing and not worry about the consequences. And so this becomes a pretty dominant theory that we'll see, uh, you know, plays out fairly significantly. Um, and at first, a lot of people don't like it. But when you begin to look at things like uh, making versus allowing and other cases, you begin to see why this is a, 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 a philosophy or an ethical position that has some credibility, some merit that's fairly significant. All right, in other matters, I just want to make a quick note that on this module, I have separated the written, the essay questions from the multiple choice questions. You have to take two exams. The exams in this module, as well as the utilitarianism, are worth more points than the other modules in this course because of their importance in philosophy, uh, that, you know, this is kind of the ones I want you to really kind of get down a little bit better and understand. And so I ask a few more questions that are a little bit more significant. And so that's the case. Um, but then what I try to do was in order to kind of more for a technical uh, helping you out, I didn't want people to get so bogged down writing responses that they didn't take time to do the multiple choice, or I didn't want them to take all this time to do the multiple choice and just cram out something on the written section. So I thought if I split those, that might give people more time to consider those. Uh, so you'll notice those are separate, and I just wanted to kind of make note of that. Okay, take care.